Have you ever wondered what a butterfly's wings sound like? Since I was very little, I've always been fascinated by sound. One of my earliest memories is of making a dam across the local stream and then taking out stones to make gurgling noises and then hearing the rush of rocks as they bash against each other to make different rhythms. I think this early experimentation with sound has led me to my fascination with experimentation in adventure and sound. I was recording inside a dimly lit circular oast house and had my guitar. And I could hear this noise and it sounded a bit like scissors. And I don't like scissors. <laughs> so I kept on playing. And then out the corner of my eye, I caught this flash of color. So I got my recorder and crept over and captured it. This is the sound of butterfly's wings. How amazing and how lucky was I to find that. This is my microphone. It has carried me and more bananas than I can count on many missions. Everything I need, I carry. Guitar, laptop, microphones, duct tape, chargers, helmet, cameras, filled up water bottles, bike lock, air pump, puncture kitzels, glasses, gloves, headphones, my jacket, and a suit. Well, you gotta look your best when you turn up somewhere new. Everything attaches to my bike, and I use it as my mobile recording rig. In my recording studio, I tell my clients to imagine a place when they're recording, and it really helps to boost the performance. So for my first solo album, I thought I would go out to find these places. I cycled to the four corners of mainland Britain, carrying 40 kilos of equipment and a suit, <laughs> on the hunt for inspirational locations. Well, it rained and rained and rained, so I had to get creative with finding places that were dry, underground, in the light of a lighthouse, in a gondola going up and down the side of Ben Nevis, and one time, I was so desperate to record this melody that I had running round that I converted a phone box into a vocal booth. Another time, cycling through this little village, and I went past this second-hand shop, and in the window was, if I can find it, this little music box. Later that day, I was recording inside a tin mine. Got my guitar out, and then I remembered this, and I thought, I wonder what I'll discover if I take out some different pins and make different melodies. And I use this as one of the backing tracks for my songs. This used to be supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> Evaluate and take the best bits with you. What if I did this again, but this time I'll make sure I'll be miles away from home. I won't know where I am and I'll be totally exhausted, possibly. So my family name is Cheese, my surname is Cheese. So I thought it would be funny to start in Edam in the Netherlands and cycle down to Gruyere in Switzerland, over the Alps to Gorgonzola in Italy, up into Andorra, not Cheese I know, but and then all the way through France to Camembert to finish. Well, 4,000 miles, you can eat a hell of a lot of bananas and drink a lot of milk. Well, it was the best and the worst. There were times that I just, well, could overthink everything and anything. And sometimes I'd just stop by the side of the road, totally exhausted, thinking, you idiot, what are you doing this for? What's the point in this? Why? And then other times I'd find a place that was so amazing I wish everybody I'd ever met could be there to see it. But this is what I wanted. 
It wasn't just the sounds and locations. It was the thoughts and lyrics that go with the challenge. These random thoughts just pop into your head and you think about so many different random things. It's all quite relative. Banana, banana, banana milk, banana. Banana, banana, banana milk, banana. <laughs> Most people have a song that reminds them of a time and can take you right back to that place, bananas. Well, I just captured these sounds and phrases and created what I like to call audio photographs. And these sounds create sort of the different scapes that I can put together in my songs. And free tracking is how I describe creating and collecting these sounds in inspirational locations. I just come down from the uh, Pyrenees and I found this well. So I slid the top off and I thought, hmm, I could drop some microphones down in there. So I picked up some rocks and bricks and ricocheted them off the inside to create a different beat. Listen to this. Another time, I was sitting on this bench outside this grain-grinding, stone-crushing windmill that had a fantastic rhythm, and these swans walked past. I thought, that would make a fantastic symbol. So, <laughs> so while sitting on that bench, I wrote a song called Bench. <laughs> Windmills. Sitting on a bench Watching everything go by If I have the chance This is how I would waste my time Life reminders pop up at the oddest times. I just cycled to the top of this big hill and it was pouring down with rain and I was having a bit of a hard time, to be honest. And I was sitting on this bench with steam rising off the top of my head and I was smashing this pie, or eating this pie. And on the bench next to me, there were two old ladies underneath a brolly. And one of them leaned over to me and said, we used to cycle up this hill, you know, but we can't anymore because we're too old. But we don't complain about getting old. It's a privilege. There's so many people that don't get the chance. Well, I thought about this for days and days afterwards, cycling along, rattling around my head. And I think actually it stayed with me my whole life when I'm having sort of tricky times or climbing up that hill metaphorically. I just think about those old ladies and it's not quite so bad. Another time, I was completely in the middle of nowhere. Hadn't seen anybody for a good couple of hours. And I heard someone shout, Paul! Nothing, nobody there. 20 minutes later, cheese. <laughs> and this happened for a good half a day. And to be honest, I haven't got a clue what that was all about, apart from the fact <laughs> that potentially I've been on my own for far too long. <laughs> 100 miles south of Milan, there was this giant crop sprinkler. I thought, 
that's a great hi-hat. So I stopped, worked on a bit of a song, and there were these dogs running around as well. <laughs> so I sampled them too. Crop sprinklers. In this open place, no one is to be seen. I hear this voice behind my head, and then in front it shouts at me, and it said, Jeez! Oh! Did you say my name? Jeez! Oh! I thought I heard my name. Jeez! Oh! Did you shout my name? Jeez! I think I've been gone far too long How far will I go today? With the wind behind me much further I've got all I need inside of my bag To capture the sound of adventure It's always good to look forward Sometimes I wish I didn't know Staring at the ground in front of my face I think it's time to go home <laughs> Thanks very much! Most people have a road or a path near their house that they've never been down before. I found butterflies' wings. <laughs> Thanks very much for listening. I've been Paul Cheese, and this has been a selection of my audio photographs. See ya! I forgot my bike. <laughs>